Okay, let me show you how the split tool works for Tecla IPM 2022. Uh, in the first scenario, I'll show you the automa automated process. Uh, in this case, I already imported a production control job that I can show you real quick here. It has some WT material. It's a considerable amount. You can see here on the top that it says it's 81 pieces. It is pretty much about 30,000 pounds of steel. I can actually show you. So it's it's a, you have a better idea of how much this material it is by pulling the model interface. So you see that reflected in the actual project in Trimble Connect. Let me actually just let it, give it a second here to open, make a little bit more of room so we can actually see both and then simply go here and say select this in the model and you can see here that it's pretty much all the bracing of the project made out of WTs uh, some of the beams on the roof and then it looks like uh, some pieces here on what seems to be a, a roof frame uh, so all this is the material that we have for this project I, I'll show you how this can be purchased in a normal combining workflow, just like you will purchase pretty much any other material like beams or angles or HSS. I can simply from here send the material to a requisition. Some companies, you know, they like to combine from here. That's fine too. Uh, I just like to recommend clients to use the requisition to, so you can put more manipulation into the process and make changes on the fly. I feel like that's a better well, uh, idea to, to do so bad. It's up to you how do you handle that part. Let me just go ahead and send the selected material to our requisition. And I have one requisition already created for this job. So that just goes and takes care of those 29 for me. Let me go ahead and open it. I will, you know, actually open it from here because you can simply see the links on my material, see that that's on the requisition 2205. And from here, open directly the requisition. So it saves me the time to go and try to find it on the purchasing module. Uh, now with all the material here on my screen, I will go ahead and run the combine from here. As you can see, I have several parts and several different lengths. I can simply go and run the combine, uh, run my molting. And one thing that you need to make sure is that in, under the optimization, in your standards preferably, but of course you can see this in a case-by-case -case basis, on the molting settings, we have the allow a split this option activated because that will actually enable the system to take a look into which beam sizes you will be cutting these beams from. And I'll, I'll show you some of the setup that is actually automatically done by us when you upgrade to the newest version, to the 2022. You don't have to worry about manually going and making the, these translations for the database. Uh, but, you know, all the standard ones will be covered by us. But these have to be activated for the system to take that in account. So I'll show you that in a moment. Let me just go ahead and run the molting process. It's actually pretty fast, even though this is, you know, in, in my settings, I have the system set up. So it takes a look to my stock to see if I have some portions. It still uh, shouldn't be too, too long. There we go. So some of the pieces, as you can see here, also are coming from my inventory, actually. But most of them are coming from the warehouse, which means it, it's my warehouse database. It means I need to buy this material. Uh, one important thing about this is, you know, in the standard set, set of screens, I think is you don't have those two columns. I added, I add those two a moment ago by going to my customized grid options and include the split sh from shape and split from dimension settings, because in that way I can see here where those materials are coming from, right? Like for example, all these six by 11 WTs will be coming from beams 20, 12 by 22. That's what the result will be. So really, this is just reflecting uh, what you will be cu cutting about the beam, where those will be coming from. And to really account for the quantity of pieces, and you have to actually save the results. I will just go ahead and do that. And then in the requisition, as you will notice here in just a moment, it will reflect the beams, not the WTs anymore, right? It's just reflecting the, the white flange in this case. And you can see the T at the first column that stands for is for split T's. And then here on the bottom right corner, I can see the results, right? Like I can see out of this 12 by 22, 20, 12 by 22, uh, all the parts that I will be cutting out from that. If, if you wanna see like the details of which of those parts are from one side of the beam and which parts from the second side, you can actually simply pull, pull the split details. And this showing you here, the results from one of the sides and the results from the second side as well. So it's taking all those things in consideration and giving you the beams as a whole. So I can simply go and 
uh, you know, maybe make changes if you have to or things like that. But in this in this automatic process, I will simply pull this material into a purchase order and do my normal workflow, right? So I will just go ahead and push that into the order for this project. All right, now in a second scenario, let's think that you have to do some of that manually, or maybe because you know you feel more comfortable doing it in that way, or maybe because you have some pieces in your stock, uh, like drops of beams that you wanna make sure that you utilize for these projects. And maybe you know if you know that if you do certain items or you wanna cut certain beams first, you wanna make sure that things are in the way that you want them to be, you can make those manual combined just like you will do it in every other material, right? So for this example, let me open a different job and let me go to the WTs and I will actually uh, send the WTs for a particular dimension. I don't know, let's say I'll go here to the 12 by 27.5, which will be 24 by 55. Let me take all of these particular sizes and send these to a requisition. I have already one created as well for this job. There we go. All right, and the same as before, I can go all the way through the purchasing module or I can simply from here open my requisition. There are all my parts. Uh, you can do the manual combine mode from here if you are buying material or if you have parts in your stock, it can be handled from there as well, okay? Uh, let me do a quick example of each one of those cases. Like if you know that you are buying, for, for instance, uh, 30 feet beams, let's just put it this way, or 60 footer beams, I can actually switch to manual combined mode in here and say that I'm buying, I'll, do, I'll just do one to, to illustrate this, one beam, uh, 24 by 55, a 60 footer, as I was saying. I'll just go ahead and uh, type this into my requisition and there is my material and then since this is in the manual combined mode already I can simply go and uh, right click split selected and that gives me this screen where I can decide which of these actual parts I want to include into the one of the sides and the second side as well right so for, for instance I can go and say yeah let me do one of these and this is telling me here how much I have on you, so still 30 feet, 11 inches. I can see if there is a better option for this or simply, you know, go and say, yep, I'll just go and take this one right here. I can go to the second side of the beam and then go and say in that one, I will be including, uh, let's do one of these and one of these, just to, to do something a little bit different. So add these results. And you can see here that this beam 24 by 55, those are the beams that I will be cutting out of that. So this it will be done, in the, this is the manual way from the requisition. In the second scenario, if you have pieces in your inventory, I can actually minimize this for a moment, uh, minimize production control as well, and go to my stock. And using the navigation filter again, and this is something that it makes it very easy for me to find material. I can simply go and go through the job as my first filter, blank material or blank job, right? Which means it's on reserve. And then under my dimensions and shapes, I will go ahead and find the 24 by 55 footer. Let's see, 24 by 55, there we go. And I have four pieces here that I can use, right? Now, what I will do is simply, uh, let's say one of these, uh, right click, split select it, and then it shows me the same screen, just I can input which parts I want to include into the first side and then the second side, right? So as simple as that, I can simply go and say, it will be uh, one of these, and then on the other side, it will be also one of this. Add this splice packaging consideration, and that's going away from here because I basically reserve it for a job, so it's not showing up in here, right? Obviously, if I go back to my navigation tree and say, I only want to see material for the 2022 Oh, 06, then I have those splits that I have already reserved and I see the results here on the bottom right corner. All right, now just to complete the full cycle, let me go back to production control. I, I wanna show you how this information will be reflected in the cut list. Just a quick example. So you realize that people in the shop floor will be able to see where the T's are coming from as full material. 
Uh, I can simply go and create a normal cut list in the usual way that you will do it. Let me go ahead and make my report and I'll give you an example of these reports. You know, there are several that you can use, but I'll just go ahead and show you this one in particular. And basically it will reflect the information and tell them the details, right? Like out of this wide flange 24 by 55, 892, 60 footer, here are the cutting patterns for one of the sides and here are the cutting patterns, cutting patterns for the second side as well. So it's giving all those details to the people in the shop floor. And of course, this can be uh, also performed and reflected from EPM Go.